Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video, we have a very special, uh, I wouldn't say it's a private viewer battle, but it was just like kind of an impromptu viewer battle. There's a lot of funny uh, shenanigans going on here. Um, kind of themed level one, some Hell Meppo, a whole fleet of Zeph. Uh, quite a, it's quite the sight. Um, as you have might have noticed, rather, um, things are getting quite festive uh, around my channel. I do have a nice little like and sub button there. My icon has changed. Um, you know, I'm just getting into the, the holiday spirit. Uh, we will be doing some holiday stuff coming up, and that's going to be a lot of fun. But anyways, let's just get right into the shit. Um, oh, there it is right there. That new little like and subscribe, little snowflakes falling. Real cute. Anyways. Um, I got me, myself, a couple of the fellas here, uh, a couple of the Zeph uh, fellas. It's going to be a 3v4, uh, a real slobber knocker, almost like an Iron Chef uh, type battle. Oh, they already fucking got into it. People throwing their peg legs at each other already. One of those Zephs is doing the old uh, Riverside Stomp. Um, it's, it, <laughs> I don't know, these guys look like, kind of like minions or something. I don't know, something about them is kind of funny to me. Uh, these are basically all these guys are battling to uh, see which chef will reign supreme in the kitchen. Um, you know, Crocodile definitely does not fit into this uh, whatever's happening right here. Unless he was one of those like prison cooks that just slop like gruel onto your plate, <laughs> you know, behind the, uh, the sneeze guard. You know how prison is. You ever been to prison? You gotta line up for your slop. Basically, you slop a couple slices of bread and some butter. Uh, I would not know from experience. Um, anywho, um, these Zeps are just going out of there. This is kind of a funny little thing. This is a bunch of stomping, uh, a bunch of peg legs getting thrown around. Those peg legs could actually double as a wooden spoon. We, oh, we got our first apprentice, Sanji, here. Um, of course, Sanji does not stand a chance against the Master Chef. I mean, the dude just got taken out with like two shots. It was a little bit embarrassing. Uh, but. You know, these guys are just throwing it down. Uh, Crocodile wants a piece so bad, you could tell. His butt cheeks are just tensing up in excitement here. Uh, his palms are sweaty. His claw hand is a little bit, uh, you know, it's it's twitching in anticipation. He really wants to get in there and cut some uh, chef meat up and maybe have one of the other chefs prepare it for him. Uh, but, you know, that probably won't happen. Oh, we got an apprentice here, just jumped in and uh, pretty much got smoked right away. Um, he's getting just gangbanged by the rest of the, uh, the goofball chefs over here. Again, it is a 4v3, so not, the odds are not in uh, uh, the, the favor of my side here. There will be a battle at the end, actually, where I take part. Um, but my Zeph is completely overpowered. Uh, but we'll see that a little bit more once we get into it later. Uh, anyways... It's just a slobber knocker as usual. A lot of black and blue chefs. These guys are definitely going to need some uh, alcohol. Pro probably, you know, drink a couple bottles of wine to ease the pain. As chefs normally do after working 15 hour shifts on their feet, you know, six to seven days a week. Um, we're just going to dip over here for a second because it's a little bit too gory uh, for our taste. We're going to come back and just uh, watch the end of the battle here. Um, see a couple apprentices. Crocodile has had enough of watching this pathetic fight, and he's just going to wipe out the entire fleet of Chef, other than that one apprentice who somehow managed to survive the Tornado of Doom. But anyways, we got our next battle here. Uh, we got Will the Enforcer as uh, the pervert Kizaru, and of course I'm going to be Crocodile. Um, this is... if Kizaru gets involved, I might have to step in, um, because obviously he is uh, much more overpowered than the, uh, the idiot sons over here uh, what would you call the sex tuplets there's like six I don't know I'm not a uh, a mathematician <laughs> so anyways uh, we are look at these dweebs running around like little chickens <laughs> they guys look like little rubber chickens with their heads cut off it's so cute uh, let's see what happens here I want these guys to line up before they have a little uh, shoot off here maybe a little Mexican standoff action they're all peeping each other everybody's got their hand on their hip right here Ready to quick draw and see who gets their head blown off first. Uh, anyways, I'm in the crossfire here, just getting shot. Uh, and I think that's the good to go. Everybody, there's bullets flying everywhere. This is like a scene out of the Matrix. And uh, Kizaru is like one of the, uh, one of those agents. He actually hit me. Um, you know how it goes in the yard. You don't hit the man. You don't hit the boy. 
Uh, but for now, we're going to let that slide. But I best believe we're going to get our revenge in a moment. Let's go over, the, go over there and let him know uh, who he's dealing with. Uh, this little chicken man here is running up to me. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's just mesmerized by my striped pajamas. Uh, Kizaru just wants a piece of the action, too. I can see him going in there. I believe he's level 1, so it's not too much of a threat, even if he does start attacking. Uh, oh, it looks like he actually is going for the uh, the people here. He's chasing this one Helmepo down. He's doing circles around him. we got an Usopp, who is also another pathetic sniper. He's actually going to kick that Usopp, and that's a no-no. Um, you know, he broke two rules. I apologize, Will, but, uh, you know, something's going to come eventually. You know, I love you long time, but... Uh, you can't be breaking the rules in the yard. <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside, uh, Kizaru's over here trying to go for that nice snipe, and that was the last. That was the last straw. You know, three strikes and you're out of here, pal. Uh, he is just gonna run around here. These these two are having an epic duel. Um, looks like a, quite a pathetic fight, if you ask me. Somebody actually captured a flag, which is also a big no-no. That might have been Will. Strike four, pal. Uh, I don't know how many strikes I'm giving out this round, but uh, I just, you know, he's a level 1, so I feel really bad. Uh, anyways, we are going to... He, oh, he's going to start kicking the, the, the fans again. And, uh, you know, I think Croc has finally had enough. We're going to give him a couple pimp slaps. Give him one, actually. Make him bleed out with this poison here. Uh, he, he died of a stomach ache. Um, <laughs> which is very, very embarrassing for an admiral to die of a stomach ache. He's not like Magellan who can withstand the, you know, immeasurable amounts of diarrhea without uh, eating electrolytes or drinking electrolytes, rather. Anyways, these guys are almost done their shootout. Who knows who won? There's a Kaku on the other side. Oh, he managed to smack me out of my move, but uh, you know how Croc gets down. That doesn't fly with the boy. Uh, that dude's gonna... <laughs> we just killed all of these Helmuppo's fathers. That guy definitely needs a vasectomy, producing all of these pathetic children. Now, this is one of the best matches here. And look, you can see the head chef rocking that three metal set level 100. Um, but these guys are all level one. So, of course, I'm not going to fight, uh, you know, unless I have to. I'm the head chef. These are the sous chefs, you know, only in this battle. Um, it's going to be an intense one. It's just uh, all these guys in their whites here, their chef whites. I think there's a lot of people rocking the uh, Sanji... Um, the Sanji sub character as well. So a couple chef and apprentice, chef and apprentice battle. Uh, let's line up and show them. Uh, let's give them the fucking soup de jour, uh, aka the leg of the day. <laughs> That's not what that means. Don't uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, it's definitely not what it means. All right, these guys are just want to get into it super bad. I got some dude swept the leg like fucking Daniel Sun in uh, Karate Kid. Uh, so I'm gonna have to let him know who he's dealing with here. Uh, anyways, the battle has begun. Um, I'm just gonna kick this guy out of my way. He was attacking me. I wasn't intending on fighting anybody, but, uh, you know, I just had to, had to get at his, uh, his anal glands with that leg of mine. You know, stir the pot a little bit with that wooden spoon. So we got, uh, two Sanjis and two Zephs on the other side. The other Zeph, uh, died, so he's gonna switch into Sanji real quick. This Sanji's looking to, uh, Learn a couple recipes from the, the headmasters over here. Um, he's throwing up kicks and clearly missed because they, they know how that Sanji. He has nasty, uh, or no range on that first skill. That other one's actually not half bad though. Oh, so the other Zeph did spawn in. So two chef and two apprentice uh, units here. A really, really funny uh, <laughs> shit right here. Everybody's do I like Zeph. He's got a really nice basic attack. Look at these things. This guy, like hits you like he knows fucking the finger pistol like Luchi. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I did actually slip in there and get a kill though just because uh, you know I was feeling a little bit feisty seeing all these guys battle. Um, I'm gonna go in here and serve up an appetizer I think uh, in a couple seconds or maybe like a minute or so. Or so. See who ends up attacking me. Uh, you know you could tell how badly I want to get in there and show these guys how it's done. Um, but you know I'm a nice I'm a nice chef. Oh, this Sanji broke the rule. He went to grab that flag, and that's a no-no in the yard, uh, the viewer battle yard. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll take it back because they almost have a team boost for some reason because they did cap their first flag. Um, even though they might get team boost, it still won't be enough to take down the Grand Master Chef. 
uh, the Iron Chef himself. Uh, we are like that slow ass dodge. The dude jumps and does like the slowest barrel roll of all time. As a matter of fact, I believe dodging or like rolling like that's supposed to, you know, take away some of the impact. But the way he rolls looks like it would probably add more impact. It looks like it would hurt like a motherfucker. Oh, we got a, a uh, what's it called? Uh, Alabasta Sanji over there. We're gonna go in here and just slaughter some people considering we have the, the meat. Com swing and a miss right there. It's like a kid at a t-ball game just missing the fucking ball that's just standing in front of you. Uh, you know, shout outs to those kids growing up. <laughs> they were, uh, you know, the laughing stock of the locker room. Uh, but uh, quite, a, quite a fun uh, time doing these little theme battles. Uh, just kind of, you know, impromptu like I said before. Uh, but, anyways, um, with that, that's pretty much the end of this video. We do a couple, you know, sometimes these guys, uh, people in the Discord do that kind of stuff with or without me. So, you know, if you do want to join the Discord, it is a little bit of a crazy place, but it's a, it's a good time overall. You might play, you know, find people to battle with and whatnot. Uh, but again, I do have some Christmas stuff uh, coming up or holiday stuff rather. It doesn't, whatever you, you know, celebrate. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for all that and we will see you in the next one. Peace.